Hey everyone, Dave Men's Laundry Mount Millionaire back here at our new store in Amelia, Ohio. And we thought we'd come by on this Saturday and give you an update on the first week's progress in our new project. So, as you can see, we filled two dumpsters and there's more here and there's a giant pile inside. So, we've already got three dumpsters worth of debris in four days of demo work. So, let's go inside and take a look and see what they did. So as you can see, our smoking room is gone. There's still a little bit of work to do with these beams up here, but uh, the wall is out, the glass is out, the door is out. Everything is completely removed. And you can see even the ceiling is out all the way up to the rafters. You look over here, the drywall or the, uh, the dryer curtain, um, we're leaving that, I'm going to be insulating it and uh, re-drywalling it so we're going to be able to reuse the majority of that but we got it stripped off you can see that the folding tables are gone the bulkheads are gone you come over this way this is where the retail area was so you can see by the tile markers this was like a counter uh, there was a wall here this is a counter where the customers from the laundromat would come up and get service at the retail counter so you can see the whole retail area, the back counter, the front counter, where they would check in their dry cleaning. All of this is completely demoed. The ceilings, you can see the third dumpster I was referring to, you can see that it's over there. <laughs> All the debris uh, for that third dumpster that they're, they have coming on Monday. And you can see they've made some serious progress. So here's a clip of a video that I came in and took in the middle of the week on Wednesday afternoon around noon. Um, that'll give you an idea of the progress they've made in just the first day and a half versus the progress that you see right now. Take a look at this. Over here. You can see this open floor plan I was talking about. We got some equipment in here got our scissor lifts, a couple bobcats, and we are not playing around. These guys are killing it, and I couldn't be any more excited. There's our architect, Rod, who's doing some measurement. So this is the smoking room that I showed you all the other day on the other video. It's our smoking room, and it is gone. This is our dryer wall. I don't know if you remember. Here's the bulkheads, where they were, formerly known as bulkheads. Our folding, our folding tables that were built in were right here. And we are demoing. Look at all this. They've almost got this space totally, totally opened up in two days. But it shows you what can be accomplished when these projects take a year and a half. But as I talked about in my video the other day, the thing you have to remember is when a place is an existing laundromat, you don't have to worry about the infrastructure. The gas lines, the water lines, the utility lines, they're all here. You may rework them, rebuild them, put in new bulkheads, but there's a ton of value in the infrastructure being in place. So if you ever get an opportunity, and it's all predicated on having the great location, but if you ever get an opportunity to purchase or lease an existing building that has a laundromat in it, even if you're gonna gut it to the studs like we are, the reality is there's a ton of value in there and time savings and opportunity cost and you can really make some significant progress very quickly which you can see we are doing i don't know if you remember we're not on this back wall it's a Amelia cleaning center or something like that this is where the, the six old milliners work there was a concrete slab here that's been torn up and the curtain above it the wall and everything has all been down all the way back so this is now going to be the rear wall of the laundromat. So where we were up front, it's gonna be an open concept all the way to the back. 
This door will be our service door, and there will be two doors added here, and the restrooms will be set back behind this wall to customer restrooms. So these restrooms over here are going to be demolished, and if you remember, this wall that ran front to back of the laundromat that divided this first third into the smaller laundromat um, is completely removed. There's virtually nothing left other than a few little pieces of the odd lumber. You come over this way, watch your head, I'm not sure how stable that is. Remember their office was here, and that's been completely removed. And you can see we can't even get through that door right now. And all of the debris, this is where the uh, seamstress worked. Um, over in this corner here, and then there was a, another wall up front this way. So you can see too the drop ceiling's been removed, but most of the conduit wasn't able to be reused. If anybody's looking for a 1980s microwave, there's one for you. Again, I'll make you a good deal. You can see that the bracket is still up there for the uh, conveyor. Thanks, Richard, for telling me about what that was called. You can see the bracket up there and all these wood beams are mostly removed. They just got to be cut down and the nuts taken off of them. We have made an insane amount of progress for four days because they actually didn't start on Monday. They started on Tuesday. So let's be careful. Walk over into this area. All right, so if you look back there, it kind of looks dark and dungeony. If you remember our first video that we showed you a week ago, that block, all that block you see on the ground, that block wall went floor to ceiling, um, all the way to the, to the roof. And it came across and back alongside of the uh, that garage door. And that was, the, that was their boiler room for their steam boiler, their water heater. And that's all been demoed and removed and will be going to the dumpster. So I'd say it's pretty safe and probably have two more dumpsters minimum uh, to fill up. Um, I don't know if you remember, on this side of this block wall that made this uh, boiler room from here to the wall, you can see one of the doors actually still attached to the wall. And these were two more restrooms that I think they had stripped out and they were using them for like storage closets. And then roughly where I'm standing right now, on this side of the block wall, um, was where the shirt uh, washers were for their dry cleaning plant. And those were concrete pads that were poured. And so they've all been demoed. And that's what a lot of, that's what a lot of this is. You can even see right here the drain. I don't know if you can see this. You can see the drain. Or go right into the port, port of concrete. Anyway, so that's the progress we've been able to make for the first four days. Pretty good progress. And we're excited about the future. For those of you that are wondering how we were able to make this kind of progress in such a short time, the reason is preparation and working with reliable contractors. So for those of you that like to do things yourself and uh, believe me I've been there we do what we have to do uh, but when you reach a certain point hopefully you can work with professional contractors and I, I make it a habit of never really negotiating their bids um, they let me know what they charge for their services and I decide if that's a fair value um, and if I don't think it's a fair value I won't hire them but I won't negotiate on price with them because I've learned that you get what you pay for and I'm, I'm much more interested in the finished results and the value associated with our bid versus discounting the price and getting a subpar product or getting unreliable contractors. So this allows us to make a lot of progress in a really short time. And this is just one microcosm of that. I think you'll see other ones with our, our electrician, our plumber, our architect, our engineers, all of these people that are working with us on this project. Um, so hopefully that gives you a little bit of an update 
hopefully it was entertaining and we'll try to do this roughly on a weekly basis and we'll see you next week take care guys